Hi, I'm Amy Corral. Thanks so much for joining me on Breathe and Play Every Day YouTube channel to learn about making this starfish from our beach day story. In our story, the starfish loved to tumble in the waves and then got stuck on the beach and needed the help of all the other animals to get back home. To make our starfish, you will need a plain paper plate. You will need cereal or something to make texture on your starfish. I like cupcake sprinkles. You'll need something to color your starfish. I'm using these cray paws, but you can use markers or pencils or anything that you have that makes colors, even paint. You will need glue and you will need scissors and a pencil. I'm gonna make my starfish fade uh, cheap on my plate by using this toy starfish that I have. But if you need help making the shape of a starfish, you could always trace a starfish that you find online or try to draw one by hand. Starfish has five arms or feet. That's whatever you decide to call them. I like to call them arms. Cut them out from your plate until you have a nice starfish shape. Then you'll notice my starfish is kind of puffed up a little bit. The way that I got that was by starting at the tips of the starfish to crease the starfish going into the center and do that for each and every arm. Again, that's five arms. I'm on number three. Three, four, and five. Now my starfish is a little bit puffed up. It's time to add some color. I'm gonna take my cray pot and just start coloring the starfish, adding as much color as I can. Starfish come in all different colors. If you look up some pictures of starfish, you'll find some in blue and pink, oranges and browns. I wonder what color yours will be. Our story of the starfish was based on an old parable called the starfish winger. And it's about a person who's walking along a beach that's just filled with starfish. And as they're walking, they're picking up starfish and flinging them back into the ocean. And a passerby asks the person walking, why are you bothering picking up all these starfish and flinging them into the ocean? Don't you see how many starfish there are? You'll never get all of them back home. What does it matter? And the person picked up the starfish and flung it back into the ocean and said, well, it mattered to that one. Even little things we do can make a big difference. All right, my starfish has a lot of color on it now. I'm just gonna add some extra paint to cover up all the white spaces. And if you have some bubble wrap around and some paint like this, you can make a cool texture on the underside of your starfish by coloring the bubbles on the bubble wrap and then pressing them on to the paper. It makes kind of a texture like that. Now the top of our starfish is ready for its texture. I'm gonna use cereal and cupcake decorations for mine, but you could use rice or um, sand or any other kind of texture you have. And I'm going to start to cover the starfish with glue. Don't worry if it looks white now while you're putting on your things. It will dry clear. You can have fun kind of making the designs of your starfish. There we go. I'm going to start by putting my cereal. 
you can probably find some things in your cabinet to add some texture to your starfish. Starfish have a really fun texture. If you've ever been to the aquarium and gotten to feel what they feel like, they're so bumpy and neat. And then I will pour some cupcake sprinkles. And there I have a good start to my starfish texture. When that dries, it will look something like this. I hope you have fun making your starfish and then you can join me for yoga stories again. And at the point where we fling our starfish back into the ocean, you will get to fling yours. Thanks so much. Have a great day.